Hey everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Fidelity and Interactive Brokers. The first thing I'm going to talk about are fees, then I will talk about account opening, design of applications, what kind of markets and products they offer, security and also design of trading platforms. So let's start. Fees. Fidelity has no fee at all for US stock and also they have higher fee for German and UK stock. Let me show you. When you see it by yourself here, Fidelity Stock and ETF Commission, US Stock 0, Interactive Brokers 1, but UK Stock and German Stock is much more expensive. Also, the ETF for Fidelity is completely for free. So if you want to like invest to US stocks, I would go because of these reasons through Fidelity. Now let's continue. Options are similar. They are just a little bit cheaper comparing to Interactive Brokers 0 0.65 to 0 0.7 per contract. Now the bond fees, there are real low bond fees or not at all with uh, Fidelity, so it's again better. But now, in what way the interactive brokers is better than Fidelity? What they actually offer in markets? Let me show you. If you would go to markets and products, you can see it right here. Interactive brokers has everything. Fidelity doesn't have future CFD and crypto and also Forex. Now, even when you see like what kind of stocks and ETFs markets they offer, you can see it by yourself. They offer only 80 comparing to interactive brokers 13,000. So also, if you want to invest into foreign markets, foreign ETFs, to so even Asian markets, like, I don't know, it's up to you. Interactive brokers is better choice comparing to Fidelity. Now, you have inactivity fee with interactive brokers, which is not good. If you have below $2,000 on your interactive brokers account, the monthly commission is $20. If you have above $2,000, it's going to be $10. And if you have above $100,000 in your account, you're going to pay no fee at all. Now, you can go around this inactivity fee by choosing TradeStation Global or TradeStation, and they don't have any inactivity fee. So this is what I recommend. So if you want to get rid of the inactivity fee. Now, account opening, both of these are like, all right, it's simple, but still interactive workers a little bit slow. Uh, with confusing, confusing messages, you would see it by yourself. What I really like personally is that both of these platforms have demo accounts, so you can actually test it out by yourself. Now, I like Fidelity much more in terms of trading platform and also desktop and web trading and mobile trading also. It's simple, it's easy to understand and everyone can understand that. So I would probably based on the fees and trading platforms, I would choose Fidelity. And that's pretty much it. So even to see customer service, again, they are all right. Phone support, live chat, fast response time. Safety, uh, interactive brokers is up to 85,000. SSPC is protection of 500,000. Fidelity interactive brokers has a 85,000 euro or dollars or uh, pounds, pounds. So it's all right. To summarize this whole video, choosing 30 brokers, if you have about 100,000, I would do that. If you want to invest to foreign markets, I would go with interactive brokers. If you want to invest to US stock and ETF, go with the Fidelity. If you want to have better, in my opinion, trading platform, I would go with the Fidelity, but test it out by yourself, uh, creating demo accounts in Fidelity and interactive brokers. So this is pretty much it. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down below in comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide some guidance and support and yeah. So, wow. I hope this kind of video helped you go deeper into it and how it works. So, yeah. Goodbye.